You claim you want to be a great player, but yet you are neglecting this thing right here. In this video, I'm going to show you the three biggest mental weaknesses players have and things that you need to work on if you want to achieve long-term success in this game. Mental weakness number one is a lack of personal responsibility. And what I mean by that is people are so quick to blame others, to blame their situation, to blame their genetics, to blame anything possible to make an excuse for why they don't have what they want right now. If you want to be a great player, you need to take responsibility for everything. When I say personal responsibility, I'm saying every weakness that you have, you must be honest with and you have to think, how can I prove that weakness? Every bad behavior, every negative habit that you have, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be self-aware and you have to take responsibility for those weaknesses. If you hide from them, you will never improve them. But so many players do. They know they're slow. They know they're always late. They never show up on time. They know that they're bad at shooting. They know that they can't defend, but yet they hide from these weaknesses. So if you want to be a great player, take personal responsibility for your game. Take personal responsibility for your goals. Let's say you want to get a college scholarship or you want to be a professional player. Well, how are you going to make that happen? Yes, you live in a country that doesn't have a good football system. You don't have a lot of money. Nobody's helping you. Nobody's supporting you. Well, guess what? This is your reality. So again, you can blame your situation. You can blame your circumstances or you can take responsibility. You can say, guess what? I don't have the luxuries and the privileges that other players do in different countries or different situations, but that just means that I'm gonna have to do more about my situation. I'm gonna have to do something more creative. I'm gonna have to take more responsibility so I can make this happen. So no more excuses, no more complaining, no more hiding from your weaknesses, no more blaming your coach or your teammates. If you wanna succeed in this game, you need to take personal responsibility. I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. Mental weakness number two is negative self-talk or a lack of positive self-talk. If you want to figure out confidence, you want to figure out self-motivation or all these mental concepts, it really comes down to a strong foundation of positive self-talk. The way you talk to yourself in your mind. Now you've probably heard this before, but you may not be doing it. And even if you are doing it, you're getting better at it. Guess what? That negative self-talk is still going to creep up. That self-doubt, that uh, being very critical and hard on yourself, which isn't a bad thing. You want to be critical. You want to expect more of yourself and ask yourself, how can I always do better? But talking to yourself in a demeaning way, putting yourself down, saying, I suck. I'm no good. I'm not as good as these players. I'll never be good enough. Why am I even trying? I should give up. Okay. You may think that's harsh, but the reality is those thoughts and those words have been in your mind before. You've said that to yourself. Okay, so if you want to figure out confidence, you want to be better at self-motivating, you have to learn to number one, be aware of the negative self-talk that goes on in your mind. Even the greatest winners, the champions, the most confident people in the world, they still have negative thoughts that creep into their mind. But guess what? They don't allow them. They are aware of them. They say, wow, what was that? I can't talk to myself like that if I want to succeed, if I want to be a better player. And they reframe it with positive self-talk. Okay, so it's easy to talk to yourself when you're in a good situation. You're playing well, your team is winning, the coach likes you. Then it's easy to talk to yourself. But how do you talk to yourself when things go bad, when you're not playing well, when you had a bad touch, when you missed a chance, when your team is losing, when you're on the bench, when the coach or your teammates don't respect you, how do you talk to yourself in that situation? So be aware of every negative thought. You control all these thoughts in here. And until you understand that and you take responsibility for those thoughts, you will never figure this out. But once you do, you realize, hey, I control every thought, every word that goes on in my mind. And you can reframe it positively and you can say, I can do this. I am good enough. I'll find a way to become good enough. I can play with these players. I can come back from this mistake. That's how you have to talk to yourself in your mind if you want to be a great player and you want to achieve success in this game. So number two, stop the negative self-talk. Be aware of it. Every time it pops up, you say, no, I can do this. I am good enough. I will find a way. I can, I must, I will. You will find a way to get through it if you start with that strong foundation of positive self-talk.
weakness number three, you have no discipline. You have no follow through. You don't do what you said you were going to do. Look, it's easy to set goals. It's easy to set a plan or set a training schedule for yourself. It's a very different thing to actually follow through with that plan until you achieve the goal that you desire. So if you are currently not the player that you want to be right now, or you haven't achieved the things that you wanted in the past, I'm going to assume that in most situations, it comes down to a lack of discipline. You knew what you had to do, you just didn't necessarily do it. You've been in that situation before, you've set a plan for yourself. I've been in that situation before, we all have. You get really excited, maybe you have a trial coming up, or you're gonna play for a new coach and you really wanna impress them. So you say, If you wanna improve faster and achieve more this season, use the soccer success planner it's 100 percent free players all around the world have already used it to improve you can download it right now there's a link in the description below i'm going to train every day i'm going to eat right i'm going to get to bed on time i'm going to do this extra stuff after practice i'm going to go to the gym you set your schedule you stuck with it for a few days and suddenly you find yourself on the couch back to your old bad habits just playing video games all day eating junk food procrastinating wasting time wasting your potential. So what happened in this situation? You were motivated at one point, but that motivation slipped away and you didn't do what you have to do. That's where you needed discipline. Discipline is doing what you need to do even when that motivation slips away. It's doing what you need to do even when you necessarily do not want to do it. So if you're not the player you want to be right now, you haven't achieved the things that you wanted in the past, it comes down to a lack of discipline. You know what you have to do. You're just not doing it. So realize the importance of discipline. Make a commitment to work on your discipline. Hey, I said I was gonna do this, I have to do this. Now, for me, it's easier to do what you need to do when you have strong connection to your goals. So if you're always reviewing your goals and you're always, you can get that motivation back, discipline becomes easier. When you don't have connection to your goals or you don't set any goals at all, you're just playing with no real purpose, nothing on the horizon, then it's easy to waste time to push off practices or push off personal training and just fall back into your old habits. So discipline becomes easier when you get connection with your goals. What are you trying to achieve this month, this week? When's your next game? When's your next big moment where you have to be at your best? And just realize that, hey, I want to be a winner. I want to be a champion. Well, it's not about just being motivated all the time. It's doing what you need to do on the days that you do not want to. So number three, really focus on the importance of discipline. Catch yourself being lazy, catch yourself procrastinating, catch yourself making excuses and say, hey, you wanna be a great player? Well, now you have to be disciplined. Success in soccer, success in life, it comes down to this right here. This is the most powerful tool you have. And if you can understand that and start using it at a young age, you're gonna achieve so much in this game. It takes most people, it took me a long time to figure out that, hey, this is actually more important than my feet or my body. Obviously, you need the skills, you need the physique, you need the stamina and all these physical attributes. But if you're weak up here, it doesn't matter how good you are everywhere else. So really put the importance on that mental strength, catch yourself doing those things, those negative habits, work to change them, and you can. You'll become more confident, you'll become more disciplined, you'll become mentally tougher. So thank you. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field, and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.